Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're gonna cover next. So if it's your first time on the channel, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And this week we are going over Kaisi Perfume House. It is an indie brand. The perfumer's name is Terry Bozo. She does an amazing job of putting these gourmand fragrances together, the notes, you know, the, the enjoyability of these fragrances is amazing. I am having such a good time. This is the second time that we feature Kaisi perfumes uh, on the channel for an entire week and I got really familiar the very first time. Upsized a few of the samples. They do come in 1ml samples. Then uh, next size up is 3ml. Normally, when I get familiar with a fragrance, I more often than not decide, okay, I'm out. It's time to upgrade. So if I truly adore the fragrance, I'll get something bigger like a 15 ml or a 30 ml bottle. Um, and if, if I'm still exploring or I feel like I have a lot of that particular type of scent, I'll get a 6 ml. Now, uh, which I just did with Fiji Ebana. Beautiful Liptonic Fig fragrance. I do have a full dedicated review to Fiji Ibana and I have uh, used it as a layering base for several fig centered fragrances and it just makes them so so dreamy. For today we are going to go over Dosser Brule. We are having dessert people <laughs> today. We are just we're just having dessert. This is delectable. I'm going to try to contain myself and reel myself back in, but it's a little hard when a fragrance is this delicious. And um my drawer is full. <laughs> my drawer is full of layering combo possibilities. Um, for you guys to be able to enjoy this fragrance. A little really does go a long way with this one. Uh, this went the distance. It is strong. This is a strong fragrance. It is decadent. This leaves a trail. I dig it. People's asking me, I mean, where is the dessert? It's like, I am right here. <laughs> this is so good. Um, yeah, this one is strong. In Doser Brulee, we have lemon, browned caramel, butter, coconut milk, beeswax absolute, oak moss, umbroxan, uh, and musk. So I'll, I'll tell you this, the one thing that kept me from sampling this fragrance initially in my initial round um, and several orders I've placed since then actually was the beeswax. I haven't had the best um, experiences with fragrance that have a heavy beeswax note and you can never you know when you see notes listed on the pages or the the sites you you can't ever really tell exactly how it's going to smell different houses use different accords you know different perfumers put notes and accords together in such a manner that it just can smell completely different prime example is uh, the MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold and Gentle Fluidity Silver. Those two fragrances are by Mason Francis Kirk de Jean, uh, and they are two different fragrances, silver and gold. They smell nothing alike, yet they have the exact same notes, just structured differently, you know, layered differently. Uh, to give off a different nuance, the amount that they put in there of the different, uh, uh, you know, uh, accords and is all, it just, it matters. They're formulas. These are formulas, you know, like medications of happiness. <laughs> just, mm, this is uh, so delicious. This, you know, scents are a powerful thing. So powerful. Um, I absolutely love them. I love them. <laughs> I would not mind going to school for this. This is amazing. Um, you know, maybe in my next life I'll become a perfumer. So here is 
what's going on with Dessert Brulee. The opening to this, I don't even want to waste my sprays, bad. This, the opening is burnt sugar, caramelized, beautiful sugar. That's it. That's what you get. Just sugar and delectableness. It's like, whoa, this is very realistic sugar. And um, it doesn't stay there. It morphs into a, gosh, like a caramel macchiato even, uh, you know, or a vanilla latte. Just, oh, smelling so delicious. This is another contender to, to pair with La Tacita de Café by Day 3 Fragrances. I would not mind pairing that scent with this. Um, you know, this, it stays really smooth, very buttery as well. Um, on the clothes and it's on the skin it's just delectable you you don't you you leave a little bit of the butter um, you know it, the butter stays on your clothes on the skin it's a little butter scotch ish a little so it's more candy like on the skin or at least that's what my skin brought out of it um, you know maybe even gives a little caramel popcorn air so kind of in the same realm as your bum bum cream your cherosa 62 or your 71 more leaning towards the 71 actually very heavy buttery smell um, and for whatever reason, it was light enough and not cloying. That's an art right there. I mean, I can't, I couldn't even handle the 71. I can't, I don't own that. I bought it and I only own the 62. I bought it and I returned it because I could not with it. Um, you know, it's just my, it was too, it took, it, it crossed the line. <laughs> it crossed the buttery popcorn line for me. This is great. This is perfectly balanced and blended so well. <laughs> I absolutely enjoy creme, uh, creme, I was gonna say creme brulee. Doser brulee, delicious. Delicious, um, yeah. Uh, I have layering combos now. So the scent stays with you all day long, all day long. You get beautiful wafts and it's cozy. I feel like you could make it cozier. I feel like this would go wonderfully with so many different things, but I mean, I hope I've narrowed it down. <laughs> I gave myself a couple of, of splashes of sweet tooth because I can't get enough of it. I just can't. I was like, um, I want, I want some, this has coconut milk as well. So I was like, oh, that's going to go nicely. And this one has like a little, um, since that had Umbroxan, I felt like it would go so well with the cashmere wood and uh, the sugared musk here in Sweet Tooth. I'm like, oh, that's going to combine beautifully. And it did seamlessly, amazingly. I, you know, just all those adjectives or synonyms or what are they? Descriptive words. Yes, this went great so this is what i wore it with today a couple of spritz you know the the rest was done with the doser brulee uh brulee yeah brulee wonderful sweet tooth it went beautifully with it um it has a tiny bit of chocolate as well the chocolate marshmallow so that's why i'm saying i think chocolate would be a great contender chocolate coffee uh whipped cream type deal now let's go over layering combos if you uh, are a fan of layering your fragrances uh, this is one though that i feel really could stand alone completely it had the strength it had the longevity never cloying i mean beautiful i think it, i think you could wear it on its own and be content with it no problem but i'm gonna go ahead and not leave well enough alone here <laughs> is what i'm gonna do I'm gonna give you guys options. There's options here for sh for certain. If you don't want to, you know, and you have to lotion up, if you don't wanna go with an unscented lotion and you really don't want to add any more delectableness to this, you just want something light, I feel like Warm Vanilla Sugar or Bare Vanilla, Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret, Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath & Body Works will be wonderful options to not really mess with the composition too much. Uh, you know, it's a little light, like a light, any light vanilla that you're already a fan of would go nicely. I have the, the spray here. <laughs> yes, that would go so nice. So now if you do want to add some decadent vanilla, I mean just 
creamy this up. It doesn't, it smells creamy to me. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> but more latte vibe, man. Like really, really went into that latte vibe. But if you want to add a little more cream, let's go with um, your vanilla cashmere. If you're a fan of the EOS vanilla cashmere, this smells like straight up frosting to me. Yeah, straight up frosting. <laughs> and uh, so it, these, both of these cross the line for me. This is the vanilla cashmere. My little girl also, uh, although she, she, I think she tolerated it better than me. <laughs> so this is really, really decadent. I mean, really thick. And Christmas Cookies by Bath and Body Works. This one has in it crisp, creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. The caramel would blend wonderfully here with du brulee. These would make it just all the more decadent. It really would. Um, any, any vanilla that, oops, sorry, any vanilla that you're a fan of as well. So there's a couple of things here. Oh, I couldn't find it from, uh, House of Gloy, you guys. There's a, two of them I want to talk about. The first one I could not find. I'm so sorry. I, I found it. <laughs> I have a drawer here full of House of Gloy. <laughs> I do have full dedicated reviews to a lot of House of Glory scents. They're also an indie uh, perfume house and they have tons of amazing products. Um, so I love to interchange my products, you know, my brands, uh, my smell, just get a good use of all the collection. Um, so here's Ghost Puffs, you guys. And I had to let this one marinate on my skin a little bit. Um, this is the Ghost Puffs Pumpkin Butter by House of Glory. And this one has... Oh, yes. this. So from, from here, and my initial reaction to this is... Oh, it's, it's heavy. It's too heavy for me. I can't. It dries down really nice. I mean, yeah. This has orbs of buttery popcorn and marshmallow goo presented on a wooden stick. It smells like a popcorn ball, <laughs> you know, with the gooey marshmallow and everything. This was nice. I, I haven't um, worn it yet, but I was really feeling like this would be a good contender for like, um, what is it? Uh, like fall festivals and all that. And I've already been to some <laughs> and I didn't wear it. Uh, but anywho, definite cozy vibes here from Ghost Puffs. And it would just go great with what's going on here. The caramel, the, the, uh, the butter, the, you know, just great. Ghost Puffs. I really wanted to show you guys that one because <laughs> I think that is their number one seller for the fall. Like number one. It sells out quick. Um, then we got Beguiled and then they bring it back once it sells out and then, you know, it, it goes on. Lemon cake made with the tang of fresh buttermilk and raspberry uh, coolest with cardamom and deceptive pink peppercorn. Now, this Beguiled has that little lemon cakey feel to it. Oh, man, that lemon is good. Beguiled. I always forget the name to this, and I'm always like, oh, this would go great with Lira by Zerzhov. This would, you know, this is a good, good layering base. This in it has some lemon that's at the way, way top of the fragrance with that, uh, going along with that caramelized sugar that I feel uh, I, you could bring it out with this very very nicely beguiled by the house of glory two awesome awesome uh choices there now while we're on the house of glory i feel like you pick by the house of glory is another one that is just mm, delicious decadent it is uh apricot tahitian vanilla sandalwood and cedar so i feel like the sandalwood here would um, again, mixed with the ambroxan and the musk, you know, to, to give it a nice base. Um, because you're just walking around smelling like dessert, you know. So give it a little sandalwood here with this you pick. Oh, it smells. I'm, I'm, I'm on an apricot kick and chocolate and orange <laughs> and just creamy deliciousness. You pick by House of Glory. Solid option for, for Dosser Brulee. Oh, yes. Okay, so uh, speaking of orange, <laughs> we're on the subject already, and um, 
speaking of orange and apricot and all that, peach prosecco macaron. Again, yes, perfect. It's got peach prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaron cookie. This would go great as a layering base. And I have the spray too. I just don't know what I did with it. Uh, top her off, you know, top her off. Put that in your hair, on your all over your jacket. I feel like the sprays from Bath and Body Works, like you could really get away with over spraying them because they're they're so big. <laughs> Especially if you have like a huge Bath and Body Works collection like I do, um, you, you can do that. You can just overspray, no problem. Um, so this is Orange Vanilla Twist on the topic of orange and it is creamy and it would go beautifully. Juicy Orange Summer Sherbet and Vanilla Cream. So yeah, let's make, let's put a little gar orange garnish on top of this. Oh my gosh, this would go so good. This dries down. Uh, the orange doesn't stay the entire way. It, it's interesting how this dries down to this really uh, light but beautiful vanilla cream. Like, does it have... Oh, vanilla creme. <laughs> like, that's what sticks around here. Um, now, on the same topic of, like, creamy, delicious pastries, we have uh, whipped berry merengue. Now, um, what is the word? Oh, a sugar milk company. I didn't prepare it either. I wanted to show it to you guys. A sugar milk company has this uh, sweet blueberry pie that I think I would put the, the sweet blueberry pie oil because I have the roll on. Then I would go in with the whipped berry. I would put this first, sorry. Fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Put this down first. Then I'd go with my sweet blueberry pie oil by sugar milk company. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to show it to you. I'm going to drop. I found it. I'm like, I'm going to drop absolutely everything else. Just try to show you guys. Sweet blueberry pie. These are so cute. So delicious. Um, oh, adding some blueberries to this. Yes. Yes. This would go great. I would do this. I would do this to the pulse points. And top it off here with the dosa brulee. And I would turn this into a, um, you know whipped berry merengue type dessert this is what i would do this is what i do blueberries delicious uh on the topic of blueberries i didn't even think of this fairly new fairly new here with uh bath and body works sugar uh blueberry sugared pancakes yes this one turned out to be so good it's got fresh pancakes caramel cream drizzle and sugared blueberries this is another solid option for this decadent and it's not over the top this it's funny how this one uh first of all it's not like a, you're not a walking talking ihop sign <laughs> you're not you know this one's just gorgeous i i loved it you get your nose on this it's so good i want to do that <laughs> all right so um again pear creme brulee i brought this up yesterday this would go amazingly with the dosa brulee. I would totally wear this. <laughs> totally wear this. Last two items I want to show you guys. And then we're done. <laughs> I get carried away with this because it's so good. It's so good. And if you want to smell cozy, delicious, edible, you know, then uh, these make me so happy. Gourmand fragrances are delicious and uplifting. Um, I have here Britney Spears private show again, very affordable, delectable. We have some whipped cream in here. We have dulce de leche. We have, um, just a wonderful, wonderful lineup. We have a little bit of coffee in here again, right in line here with dulce brulee. Yes, and it lasts. You spray this. I kind of use these as my topper offer body splash when it comes to layering. Um, you know, they're they're so affordable and and they smell delicious and it has some longevity to it, which is amazing. Very, very nice. And last but not least, there's some caramel in Juicy Couture's uh caramel uh what is it called? Gold. Gold care it doesn't have the name, darn it. <laughs> I think it's caramel gold juicy couture gold somebody tell me the name of this this <laughs> it's completely escaped my mind uh this has some caramel in it though so i really do feel 
Oh yeah, this has some caramel in it. This is a no-brainer. I'm gonna put on my doser brulee. I'm gonna give me like a couple of spritz just to give it that perfume type quality. Um, you know, it's not luxurious, but it's delicious. That's what I feel about the sweet tooth, things like this. I feel like they're just no-brainer delicious fragrances. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. That was it guys, that was it. That was all the layering suggestions I have for today. And I'm not saying that that is it. I mean, this was a, such a layerable fragrance. Oh yeah. Um, we'll talk about this Bon Bon's a lot uh, tomorrow probably because I did try to wear it today and I only sprayed my hand just to see what it was given and I had to rub that sucker off. So we'll talk about it tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed uh, rest of your day, your night or your evening and you stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.